What's up everybody, this is Axfield here and with this video I'm going to show you a quick peek at the new DLC of War Tales Tavern Opens. So I'm going to go through the mechanics and all the extra features that you get with the DLC and also just to show it to you if you are interested in buying it then you can determine whether or not it is the thing for you. The nice thing about the Tavern Opens DLC, you can access the benefits of the DLC pretty much from the start because you're going to find a derelict uh, tavern within the county of Tiltron. So you're going to come to the town Stromcap and then once you reach this town you're going to see there's a abandoned uh, tavern or they call it the derelict tavern and then you can purchase it for literally one coin so it's pretty much for free. Now I went ahead and I bought the tavern and I called it the one-eyed crow. So we're going to go in here and then I'll explain a little bit further uh, about how the tavern opens work. So once you're inside of the tavern, you can see there's a lot of stuff going on here. Now I did expand my ta tavern quite a bit and um, so there's a lot of people already coming here. But the tavern is a really nice way to create yourself a passive income. Now you'll see at the top corner you've got copper coins, so that's the currency that you use within the tavern. Now the advantage of the copper coins is that you can convert it into your money that you use generally. So the golden coins basically what you use to purchase your daily things now you've got all the different things here so you can see here that you've also got prestige now as your prestige grows you can then uh, unlock new things that you can place within your tavern and you can also bring all sorts of different people new people to the tavern that will then in exchange for that it will unlock even further things so also you've got to make sure that you've got a good comfort in the tavern the more your comfort is the better your sales and everything is at the end of the day as well and you need a certain amount of security now what's really cool about my tavern is that i've got the bear as a bouncer as you can see here so that's pretty cool and i've got this guy also here uh, Sh Shirakim, that's his name. So these two, they're the bouncers, and I must say, I mean, if you've got a bear sitting and watching you, uh, I think you'll be pretty nervous, but uh, I just thought that's a pretty cool thing. But in any case, you've got also a menu here at the tavern, and you've got a whole bunch of different foods that you can assign your chefs to do. Obviously, your chefs, they have to become more experienced, and the more experienced they are, the more variety of food they can produce which will then also in return make the people happier and the same with your your brewers so the more skilled they become in brewing the the more variety of drinks they can then serve to the people so that is another thing that i want to talk about is that you've got a new career option for your mercenaries and i'll go into that in a little while but then aside from the menu you can also choose the layout so here's a button where you can buy a whole bunch of things for the tavern and you will unlock new items as your prestige grows so you need a certain amount of prestige to unlock all these other additional items then you've got your staffing so in order for your tavern to function you're going to need a tavern keeper you need your cooks your brewer the board is an additional feature that you get for the tavern it's not an essential but it does help to create more sales within the tavern then of course your bouncers and then the thief is also an optional person that you can add uh, to the tavern so they are there assigned by you to steal money for you from the people that come in so it's a totally unethical practice but the option is there for you and then you can hire random people that you can assign also into your tavern if you don't want to use any of your mercenaries so that's a nice feature then you've got your whole management here and then here you can see this is where you can exchange the copper coins for gold and then you can also tell your bard what type of music to play now my bard has already unlocked quite a few different songs so they've actually got a nice list of songs that they can listen to as well and then eventually you get rival taverns uh, and then I'm not quite sure what that entails so you've got to play up to the point where you reach 100 prestige but uh, I'm quite looking forward to go into that and see what you can get additionally. Now what's nice about the tavern is that you can access the tavern from any part of the map wherever you are. Doesn't You don't have to be in the county of Tiltron or in Stromcap itself. So when you open up your camp menu you will always have access to the tavern as well. So when you set up camp you'll see there's two buttons which is your camp and tavern and then you can manage everything from there further. 
So that's a really cool feature. It makes the tavern totally worthwhile having that. And so now what I want to also discuss when we go out of the town, I'm going to show you here, you can get access now to a new skill, which is which is the Brewer. Okay, so what's cool about the Brewer is it contributes towards constitution as well as critical hits. So this is definitely for your hard hitters. So for example, my captain would actually be the ideal person to be a Brewer, but I've already got him as a master cook and which really improves his constitution greatly. But I think another hard hitter would be a good selection to have as a Brewer. This was just a short summary of what you can expect from the tavern opens i personally like it a lot it adds a completely new dimension to your game and so much so that i'm considering to start my game completely over start fresh get all the mercenaries and then assign specific ones to then focus on managing the tavern but yeah that's pretty much what you can expect and if you did enjoy this video and you appreciated this then please do remember to subscribe as well as press the bell notification so that you may stay updated on similar videos to this one. But thank you for watching and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.